Hey everyone, welcome back to Hacker. In this video, we're gonna solve the middle of the link list problem. So we're gonna explore two different solutions, uh, two pause and single pause. So which companies ask this question? So I don't have premium, so we can open the same thing in Geeks for Geeks. Uh, in Geeks for Geeks, we can see that it's been asked most of the product based companies, Amazon, Microsoft, Samsung. So we can see pay you all those things, Adobe. Before we get started, I want to remind you about our exclusive blind and for polls. This carefully curated collection covers essential coding interview problems to help you master the most common patterns and excel in your interviews. Whether you are prepping for fang level interviews or just sharpening your problem solving skills, these problems will ensure you are ready for anything. Even if the exact questions aren't asked, they cover all the important patterns. So be sure to check out our playlist and stay ahead of the competition. So yeah, let's dive into problem. So what is the question here? Given the head of a single link list, return the middle node of the link list. So basically, we need to find the middle of the link list and return the node. So if there are two middle nodes, return the second middle node. So here also like two middle nodes in the sense like uh, it, it is in the case of even number. So in the even number case, we have to return the second uh, second middle node. Okay. Uh, if it is an odd, we only have a single middle node. Okay. Uh, in the first example, we see that it is the odd number list. So we have to output three, four, five. So means like the middle of the list is written and then it, this, they would form this. So middle of the written reference is three. So that's why they form as three, four, five in the output. So uh, similarly for the second example, one, two, three, four, five, six, here the output is four, five, six because we written the middle node. So they form the uh, rest of the list. Especially since the list has two middle nodes with value three and four, we written the second one. So here the topics, we know it's a pretty much linked list and two, two pointers. So how do we solve this? Uh, if they haven't asked for O of one space complexity, we can use simple uh, list and keep track of the nodes and then uh, we can just send the values, node values, right? So we just can find the list uh, list middle uh, using the length and then we can just return that. So first approach, this is based on finding the length of the list and then iterating till half of the list. Very simple, right? So we have this list, one, two, three, four, and five points to none. And now uh, we'll be trading through one iteration and then we get the length of the list. So we have this head pointing here. Since we should not change our head, let's initialize another temporary variable to head. So this points to the same location as head. So now temp points to one. So till temp reaches the none, we just need to have count for the each node's appearance. Then we'll get the length of the list. So let's initialize n is equal to zero. Now we trade till temp is none. That's all. While temp is like till temp exists, we just iterate till temp is equals to temp dot next. And then we have to add for each iteration, we just do n plus is equals to one. Or else like we can have the step before as well. n plus is equals to one here as well. Doesn't matter, but this uh, main uh, intention for each iteration is to calculate the node presence, and we're doing that. That's all. So we get uh, by this step, we would have got the length of the list. So here it is five. So now what we do? So we have to iterate till n by two. So if it is n by two, what is like integer division we have to take? This is uh, two point five integer division. Make it floor two two. So in range. We have this uh, excluded, right? So that's why we trade only till two times, zero, one. This is the inclusive range. If we consider the range of zero to two, but this is enough for our case, right? Basically, we want uh, our head to be pointing to three. That means that we have to do dot next, dot next, like two times. And then we are doing it because our head is already at one. So that's enough for us. So we have a for loop for i in range we do n by 2 and what we do we point our head to next at the end we return our head that's all simple and then our head would be at 3 so in case of the uh, like even node linked list we have this 1 2 3 4 5 6 after that we have none so how for this case we have six by two which is three our head is already at one so uh, 
it has to move another three steps because we have to have this uh, like second middle uh, written when it is a uh, uh, having two middles so when we do range function how like the enclosure ranges like for 0 to 3 the, this is like from 0 1 and 2 so that means that we can carry three iterations so in each iteration we point it to next so this first iteration it would be here second it would be here third iteration is here so we achieved our goal right we reach this point so it's it's enough if we can do till n by 2 hence proved so I got the code ready. So firstly, I'm having the base case check. If not head, return head. Basically, if head is none, we have to return none. Simple, right? That's all. And then similarly, what we discussed here, n is equal to zero, temp is equal to head, and while temp we iterating, and then finding the length of the list by using n plus is equal to one, and then we iterating till half, and then we pointing head in each iteration to next one, and then we returning the head. Is a submit uh, first. Let's run this to see if we have any errors. So it's accepted. We don't have any errors. So let's try summary in this. So yeah, it beats 85%. So that's cool, right? So for the next solution, uh, we need to do this in single pass. So we don't want this uh, two pass. So how do we do that? So let me just clear this. So how do we can get the length of the list? Uh, like we just need, we don't need length of the list actually, we just need to find the middle. So let's take this example, one, two, three, four, five. So imagine uh, if we have two pointers, one pointer moves one separate time. So we call it slow pointer. Next pointer, fast pointer, obviously this moves two X. So fast pointer always moves two steps and slow pointer always moves one step. So first pointer uh, in the first iteration, how this would be? So this one, first iteration. I'm just taking this first iteration. So first slow pointer would be at one, and first pointer would be at two. And second iteration, where would be at this? Uh, where would be the slow pointer? This would be at two, and our first guy would be going to four. In third iteration, a fast guy would have been reached the none in this case, because we don't have six. So this would be at none. Our slow guy would be at three, right? In this case, if you check if fast is none or fast dot next is none, it's simple for us to iterate uh, and then uh, we just break out of the loop and then we can write in the slow pointer. In that way, we can ju just get the middle element, right? So even in case of the even number list, let's go over for that. One, two, three. So here, oh, what is a slow and fast pointer? Same, first iteration, second iteration, we have to do, and here, first iteration, second iteration, third iteration. First iteration, this guy would be at one. This uh, this one would be at two. This guy in second iteration would be at two. This would be at four. And so in the next iteration, this guy would be at three. This guy would be at six. So here, we check, right? If fast is none, we don't want to proceed this with this iteration. We don't, we have nothing, right? So for that cases, we need to iterate only if fast is not none and fast dot next is also not none because we don't want to get null point exception when we do dot next, right? That's why we have this while fast and basically we're checking if fast is not null and fast dot next is equals to not none. So firstly, uh, before that, we just initialize the slow and fast to head. So till this condition holds true, we do our iterations. Slow moves only one step at a time. So slow is equals slow dot next. And our fast guy moves two steps. Fast is equals to fast dot next. Dot next. The reason you got it, why doing fast and fast dot next? We don't want to get the null point exception when we do dot next of if this is none. So that's why we have a safe check and we don't even want to get the null point exception when we do fast dot next when fast is null. That's why we have this check, right? You got this approach, right? So essentially we don't require for slow because like if fast is not null, then obviously so would not be not none. That's why we haven't kept this unnecessary check. So when the, once this breaks, we just return the slow pointer. That's all, solved. You got the approach, right? So let's try summoning our approach. So I got the code ready here. 
So it's same what we discussed. If not head, we return head. And then uh, we just inside the stone force pointer to head. And then we have a check for fast and force next because we don't want NPEs. That is null point exception. Obviously, we get a null point exception if force is not uh, while doing force short next. And then if for dot next is null, we get null pointer when we do force short next dot next. That's why we have this checks covered and we don't need to have this check for the slow pointer because we already covered this check in the fast pointer when fast pointer is not null obviously slow pointer would not be none so so when once this condition fails it it means that our slow pointer would be at the middle of the list right so that's why we return slow so this is the accepted solution let's try some of this yeah this is accept solution. So you got the idea, right? So basically, when uh, this fast is reaches the end, slow pointer would be at the middle of the list. Like basically, this doing only till n by two iteration. So one, uh, like mathematically also, it is uh, like you can get the parallels, right? So I hope you got the idea. So basically, here uh, we want like two steps at a time, right? This guy uh, fast pointer. So if two steps is equal to l, that is length of the list. Assume that here L is the length of the list and X is the number of steps we do. And then uh, what is X here? Then X is equals to L by 2. So when this 2X uh, like iterations are completed, this would be L. So when X iterations are completed, this would be L, L by 2. So basically here, our slow pointer would be at middle of the list when this first pointer has reached the end. That's the core concept of it. So in interviews, if the question such as find a delete middle node or detect the cycle or palindrome linked list, etc., then you would be expected to solve this question using this approach. Basically, if it's a, it's like these two are straightforward, right? Dead cycle also, like there is cycle, uh, the, the same concept applies. So basically, if the first pointer goes 2x, then slow pointer would meet it, uh, the first pointer at one point of time, there is cycle. So how do you find the palindrome linked list using this approach? So basically, you need to find the middle element, then you can reverse the linked list from that middle. And then you can compare this one to one mapping, right? I hope you got the idea, but we let's see that right? one, two, three, four, five, six. So if it is a palindrome, we just have to check this. Like in general, we check the comparison between one to six, two to five, three to four. That's how we check, right? So for that, like if we find the middle, so the middle is four, and then we reverse the English from the middle. Then how would we list? Like these two are discharged now. So we reverse it, so we'll get like six, five and four and now uh, we have two pointers we just check this these two things compare these two that's how we find uh, if it is a palindrome hope you got the idea and that's a wrap on finding the middle of a link list with two awesome approaches if you found this video helpful drop a comment below and let me know if you got it don't forget to like the video share it with your fellow coders and hit that subscribe button for more easy to follow coding tutorials see you in the next one